Hey everybody, DM Jim here and welcome to another episode of Game Terrain Engineering. If you watched the last episode, this one right here, I uh, talked about a new game called Gaslands. Uh, I've recently discovered it and started playing it. It's a car combat game. I'm really excited about it. It's just fun. And uh, in that video, I basically showed uh, you how I took a standard Hot Wheels vehicle. Uh, this one right here is called Bone Shaker. And I basically painted it and added some weapons and things like that, chains, dirtied it up, it made it look like a combat vehicle. So uh, I got an email from a, a player of Gaslands who liked what I showed, but he said that he doesn't have access to things like turrets. He doesn't have a big collection of, of I guess, you know, little plastic bits and stuff like that to modify his car. And um, he wanted to know if I had any suggestions for, you know, weaponizing a vehicle with just some stuff you have around the house. Well, I gave it a thought and I do have some ideas and I'm going to show them to you in just a second. Uh, I do want I do want you to keep in mind, you know, that uh, modifying a vehicle, and this is the one I'm going to do, it's this truck right here. Uh, you know, obviously you should use what you have on hand. I just happened to find those little turrets uh, at a game store. I bought it um, for a dollar. and uh, But if I hadn't had that, I probably would have looked elsewhere. Now, one of my old hobbies, I, I still am into it, but not so much. I like electronics. I tinker with electronics and making things and stuff like that. And um, I have a huge bin of just junk. Resistors, capacitors, you name it. I've got a lot of that stuff. And that stuff is cheap. You can usually find a bag of just electronics junk. You can find them on eBay. You can find them at electronics stores. You know, Radio Shack's sort of out of business now, but and their prices were a bit high. But I bet if you ask around, you'll you know a friend or two who's into electronics. They could probably provide you with a bag of just like generic junk, resistors and wires and and things. I'm going to show you some of the things I pulled out of my junk bin. Uh, that I am going to turn into weapons for this truck. So, and I'll tell you what these components are. So, if you like what you see, uh, I'll give you the technical name of it or whatever, so that you can go find them yourself. So, anyway, let's get to the table and let me show you what I found. All right, I've got the camera down a little bit closer to the table because a lot of these things are very tiny, and I want you to be able to take a look at what they are. <clears throat> I've got them all in a bin here. Keep in mind that what I'm going to do in this episode is I'm going to modify this very simple truck uh, with some weapons. So I started looking at it and thinking, what could I do? All right, let's just take a look in here. This right here is called an integrated circuit, a little IC chip, okay? Usually it comes on a piece of foam if you buy them individually, but you can also buy these in like tubes. They're dirt cheap. They're usually like 10 cents each or stuff like that. And you may have seen some of these. It's just a little chip with little metal legs. Okay, see that? This one has eight legs, four on each side. And I was looking at this and thinking, man, this would make a really cool like supercharger or something that you could put on the hood. Here's how you do it. Take, take it, and these wires are real easy to bend down. And just bend them down, okay, to where they're touching the base of the, of the chip, like this, okay. I know you can't see what I'm doing here, but I'm going to show you. So I've basically folded the legs down onto to compress it. And look at this. I've got a I've got a nice little, you know, supercharger, you know, some something that I could glue on the hood of this truck or another car. And it it looks, you know, pretty darn cool. So um and, and again, this is a, an integrated circuit chip, probably less than 10 cents, uh, you know, that I paid for it. And again, here's an extra one. You can see uh, the, the legs stick into the foam. You just pull it out and bend those legs. If you wanted to expose the legs and maybe do it upside down like this, I guess you could. I'm not sure what that would be. You do have to keep in mind with a lot of electronics components, these things are sharp. So, you know, this doesn't hurt. But if somebody brought their hand down real fast on this, these things these things are sharp. They could they could puncture you or hurt. So that's why I bent the uh, the pieces down like I did here. So but that's what it looks like originally right there, and this is what it looks like folded down. So I'm going to set this piece aside, and let's take a look at what else we got in here. Uh, okay, you know just wire. In my last video, I showed you how wire can be used. You know you just cut small bits of it. This is 20 gauge wire and it's bendable. 
wire is really fun because you can you can bend it and do unusual things with it and if you you know <laughs> there's no explanation for this glue it to the rear window and then glue it maybe going into the gas can who knows i mean there's no explanation for why that wire is there it just adds some detail that you can uh that you can add to a car to make it look a little more futuristic you know you can put it put it coming out of the uh up from underneath the engine and maybe running running into the front car window here like this all kinds of things you can do with that let's take a look um okay i found these these look like rivets i'm not really sure <laughs> i'm not really sure what they are i found them in a bag of gears that you would mount to a motor and these were in there you can see that they're sort of hollow um, they look like smokestacks. I don't know. You could you could glue these pretty much anywhere that you want, and it just adds some sort of like what is that? Who knows? But it obviously serves a function for this vehicle. Uh, I have a bunch of those. All right, let's see what else do we have in here. Oh, this one right here. This piece is I, I'm I'll have to I'll put it in the um, details below in the information below. But I think this is what's called a nine volt to five volt converter. Uh, I, I can't remember the exact term for it, but it basically it takes a nine volt battery and and closes and uh, basically reduces it to outputting five volts. And I want you to see this. It's these cost maybe I want to say they're about thirty or forty cents. They're dirt cheap, okay. And again, I'll put the I'll I'll hunt down the name of it and put it in the description below. But watch this. I'm not going to do this one. I had one. What did I do with it? Uh, hmm. Oh, here it is. All right. This piece back here, this metal piece, is real easy to bend, and so are the pointy tips right here, the three of them. Look what I did. I, I bent that piece down to make a 90 degree, and look at this. I could glue this on here, and I have a turret with three barrels coming out, okay? I could cut that center one out, and I'd have two barrels, all right? Now, it's not going to rotate because, you know, I would have to glue it on here if you can see. But man, that looks like a very cool turret. Now, if you if you bend this enough, this piece right here, it will break off, so you don't need it. I'm just I'm gonna use it because it'll just be another place to secure and hold this in place. It'll it'll be a round window on the back of the truck like that. But if you broke it off, you could mount this on the hood. You could, you know, there's a lot of places you could mount it. Uh, so I'm going to I'm gonna go with this and make that a turret. I'll set that there. Here's another piece. I mentioned that bag of gear parts that I had where these like rivets came out of. <clears throat> I found this piece, and uh, basically what this piece does is it mounts to a motor. You, you, These holes, you screw it to a motor, and it. I guess you could put an axle in here or something. Um, look at this. Now, this won't... It, this just happened to work out with the size of this truck. Your, your mileage may vary, but this piece will actually fit down in the back of the truck. I can glue it in three places so it won't move, but it slides. See that? Now look at this. This piece right here, I have a bunch of these. If you don't like to solder, these are a great, you can find these at Home Depot. Um, they're called two wire and they also have three wire connectors. Usually you find them around the telephone um, electronics section. And what it is, it's got two, you can't really see it very well, but there's two holes right here, okay? The idea is you stick a wire in one hole, you stick a wire in the other hole, you push them all the way to the back, and you take a pair of pliers, and you crimp down on this yellow dot. I don't know if you can see how it's sticking sticking up. You crimp down on the yellow dot, and I'm not going to do it on this one because I already have one done. And what, it, what you end up with is you end up with this flat piece right here. See how the yellow goes in? And it holds those two wires together and it basically makes them connected. So instead of soldering two wires together, you can insert them into here, crimp it like that, and it touches, it, it'll make those two wires touch, basically. It's a, I, I use these quite a bit because I like to solder, but there are times when I don't like to solder and these are very useful. Um, I think you can get a box of like 20 or 30 of them for just a few dollars. But I want you to notice, it looks like a turret. Specifically, this looked like a flamethrower to me. It has big holes in the end, and with the piece flattened, look at this. I want to show you this. Roll the truck back over here. With this little round piece in there, I can glue this. It fits perfectly. I can glue it onto the back. I'll probably do it in, at an angle, just so it looks. And I have a flamethrower mounted on the back of that truck. All right? But if you don't have this piece, you could you could put it on top of the truck, and you have a 
turreted flamethrower on top, or you could make this a machine gun, whatever you want. Now, I do not have any toothpicks handy, but these holes are big enough. There you go. Maybe you can see them now. These holes are big enough that if you get the, the standard toothpicks and trim them to size, you could glue them into those holes and create longer barrels and turn this into a machine gun turret. But again, these are called two-wire connectors or three-wire connectors. I think they call them telephone connectors. They use them a lot in the telephone business, or I guess they used to. Uh, but they're very useful for soldering things together. And if I, if I can, I'll find a link to them on Amazon and put it in the link below. And again, buy one box of these and you'll have turrets forever. All right, so I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to set this piece aside. Let's see what else do I have in here. Um, okay, there's that piece. Uh, oh, here. This is a fuse. Some of you may recognize it. It's a car fuse. I mean, you, it's, it's a, there's different types of fuses, but this is, uh, this is one. And you'll notice it has these two pointy things out here. There is a weapon in Gaslands, and I can't remember the name of it, and I don't have the book handy. Um, actually, maybe I do. Let me see. Are these the weapons? Yes, here it is. It's called the Arc Lightning Projector. Um, it shoots electrical energy. This is perfect. You could glue this on top, okay, just like that, and it looks like it's designed to shoot electricity because the because it's kind of flat uh, here. But if you wanted to, you could easily glue it on top of one of your turrets, right? Um, like so. You could. I mean, it, it's getting kind of crazy looking, but I mean, the, it's a game, right? You're supposed to have fun with it. So you could glue the turret, glue that on the end, and you'd have this really wild looking. Uh, electrical thing that could spin, spin like that. Uh, it's just a simple fuse, okay? Very cheap. I know you can buy a bag of these for pennies. Uh, if you have giant zip ties like this, you know, the giant zip ties, you can cut off, what did I do with it? Here it is. You can cut off the end of the zip tie and glue three toothpicks to it. Look at that. It's a turret, okay? And obviously you want to paint it black, but uh, it was just nothing but the end of a giant zip tie and three toothpicks that I glued together. Speaking of zip ties, the large zip ties, can you see the, can you see the texture? It's sort of this, uh, I don't know how to describe it, just like little lines, but it has a texture to it. If you cut this the right way, you can make armor for your vehicle. This, uh, oh, dropped it. I mean, this could be glued anywhere on the, on the vehicle and after it's primed and painted it'll that texture will show up and it you know you can use it for for protective armor plating the smaller zip ties right here they also have you know because of the way a zip tie works these little lines are what you hear that click click clicking when you zip them that here's even smaller armor that could be used on the vehicle so that's all i've got um, i'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start gluing some of this stuff to my truck. I'll do it in uh, fast time and we'll see what we come up with. I'm not gonna show you the painting and all that. I'm just gonna glue everything on, paint it, and then uh, show you the end result. Here it is. This is the final truck right there. And everything on it, all the uh, weaponry and the armor and stuff was taken exactly from what I just showed you. Uh, it's got the zip ties for the armor side. You can see the little voltage uh, converter here on top as a turret. There's an IC chip on the hood. Uh, let's see, a fuse on the bottom here. And then of course the little phone connector uh, is glued on top of that circular piece right there. I'll, I'll include some close-ups um, of this at the end of the video so you can see it in more detail, but it looks really cool. I, um, I painted it in a uh, sort of a reddish dry brushing and then gave it a really dark wash. So it looks, it looks brown almost, but it looks dirty. It looks used and dirty and I'm, I'm fine with that. The, uh, the plating has a, has a, not a rusted look, but just an old metal look and uh, just quite happy with it. So this and this, these are my two cars for a uh, two-car game of Gaslands. 
And I uh, hope you liked this. I hope it gave you some good ideas for adding uh, components to your vehicle if you're just not able to find, you know, uh, cast uh, items like out of lead or metal or, you know, sprue weaponry from other kits. These are just simple electronics components that, uh, that you can add that give your, give your vehicle a really nice punch. So anyway, I uh, hope you like that, Gas Science Players. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any other ideas for components that would make good weapons. And this is DM Jim. I'll see you in the next episode.